Kate, thank you very much. I don't like what the company's doing here. But Me I do either. Like <laughs> Meanwhile, from listening into saving up, turns out that a lot of Americans are having trouble stashing cash away. 70%, in fact. Financial guru Larry Winget says, stop whining. He's got some ideas to boost savings. That's what I always love with your gentle love approach on this. <laughs> um, what's the problem, first off? Well, first off, the big problem, Neil, is that when you tell people they've got to sacrifice their current lifestyle in order to save for their future lifestyle, they're not willing to do that. Nobody ever wants to give anything up, and it's about choosing your priorities, and I'm not telling you to quit spending, but to start spending on smarter things. Like what? Well, first of all, when you realize that the average American spends $2,500 a year eating out, family of four, that's $10,000. If you just cut that in half, well, you could save $5,000 a year. I suggest you go spend some money on maybe some cooking classes, a good grill, and some great pots and pans to be able to cook better food at home. All right, well, I hate that idea. Do you have any others? <laughs> you know, I got a couple of others. You know, if you paint your roof white, you will save up to 20% on your energy bills. If you encouraged your kids to graduate in three years instead of four when they're going to college, you could save ten dollars to $15,000 in room and board. And the big one, Neil, is this, and it applies to everything. Spend more money on fewer things. If people would buy better stuff instead of buying cheap, thinking they were saving money, cheap stuff wears out faster and has to be repaired quicker and is gone a lot quicker and doesn't look as good as it ages. So spend more money, buy better things, and that goes from cars to appliances to your clothes. Spend more money on fewer things. Buy once, cry once. Understood. So it's got to be genuine polyester or don't touch it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, it's our favorite time of the show where we tackle your retirement questions. Larry, thank you for helping us out on this. Tammy writes, uh, catching up after divorce is tough. Mm. Any advice? What do you say? You know, it is tough. The biggest problem I see when people get a, divor a divorce, especially when kids are involved, is that as somebody feels guilty, usually both people feel guilty, and they start spending way too much money trying to cover up their guilt, especially with their children. So you end up with a bunch of Disneyland daddies and a bunch of overspending mommies trying to compensate for the fact that they got divorced and they think they hurt the kids. First of all, watch that. Other than that, if you're just going through life trying to make it better, watch how you spend your money. Adjust your life lifestyle as best you can. And Tammy should look at the bright side. She <laughs> always got herself a very nice set of pots. Uh, <laughs> all right, buddy. Thank you very, very much. I think, holy cow. Can you imagine him with his kids? <laughs> no. All right. Uh